Lighting is absolutely awful, isn't it? That's how we're going to start this video off. So if I sound out of breath, I'm just warming up. I have to make sure I'm warm now, like thoroughly warm. You know, when uh, for everyone else who's like 10 years plus into training and uh, should we say like at least sort of five to six years of hard training, like proper training, right? Um, your joints just aren't quite the same. I'm not quite old man territory, but I'm definitely getting to warmer territory. Like, so if I wise now, I think it would be beneficial later on in life. Uh, so yeah, six, six point five, six point five weeks out from the first regional, eight point five on the pro qualifier. Uh, so I'm going to bring bring you along on legs. I'm obviously by myself today, no Lance. Um, and uh, just show you how I'm training. You know, a lot of people bitch out after about seven weeks out, really start being a bitch, really start being a fanny about training, uh, not pushing themselves hard. And uh, then it shows in their condition. You know, they're not quite making the changes that they should be changing. They should be. They should be. Um, you know where food is. I mean, I'm on a couple of low days. Next couple, next couple of days. Tomorrow, I've got 60 grams of carbs for the day with 90 minutes of cardio. Uh, 180 on Wednesday. It's on push though. I'm alright on push. Um, that's nothing. That's a that's a that's a decent day for me to be honest. And a prep. So 180 um, with uh, 80 minutes of cardio. So I've got another 20 minutes of cardio to do after this leg session. But a lot of people complain, like say their legs hurt. But don't get me wrong. Your legs will be sore when you do cardio after the session. But like, it's not like someone's trying to punch you in the face. Do you know what I mean? Like if you feel oh it hurts too much. If it hurts too much. Just quit, man. You're a pussy. Just, I'm just letting you know that you are a pussy if that is you. <laughs> you are a massive. And if you go, oh, but you don't train as hard. Yeah, I, I train harder than you. But I, I probably could put my put my house on it that I train just as hard or harder than you because look at the size of me, bro. You know what I'm saying? As you can tell, the trend is fully kicked in because I've gone and got that fuck you energy. <laughs> like, I'm fucking getting it and fuck your excuses. Let's fucking go. Uh, but that's also part of when it's like honing them in. You know, I'm getting close to it and. Without that sort of mentality, you know, you're gonna struggle. You're gonna really struggle. You've got to have a little bit of ego and a little bit of fuck you uh, in your step to to, to do this uh, and really push yourself. You know, I want to bring next level conditioning. Last time I got pilled, I bought absolutely, you know, ripped through glutes all the way through to my asshole, and that's what I'm trying to bring now. So right, they didn't hear. <laughs> so uh, yeah, join in. I'm just doing warming up. I'm on leg extension, supersetted with the line. Uh, so the, uh, the um, standing hamstring curl, and then I'll go just straight in. I've had a bit of a calf issue, so I'm not going to do calf raises today as much as I really want to. And last time I went light, I could still feel that pain in there when I when I when I bring my calf up here, and I just think, you know what? I, 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 like these calves aren't fucking going anywhere, bro. You know, you walk on them all the time. You'll be fine. Missing one session, you'll be absolutely fine. Give them that healing, like that rest. You know, you haven't got the calories. You haven't got the only thing that you've got to help is your sleep, which you could try and make as good as possible, which is still fantastic. Uh, and then you've got drugs. You know, you don't have anything else. You don't have the 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 the, the foundation, which is food. All right, it's the biggest key for recovery is is food. Um, so yeah, got to be wise. And I think I'm a lot better at that now. I'm so much better. Whereas before, you know, I'd say if I miss one session, then they're going to shrink, they're gone. So I just plow through it and tear my calf off the bone. So this is some new kit in the gym. So you're going to see some new kit being used. Uh, actually one new bit of kit that I'll use today and it's this. So you see me do a working set on it and how I play it. Cause this is a gym 80, uh, really nice bit of kit. Very similar to the prime. They are getting a prime version, but the prime equipment, if you don't know about equipment, uh, prime takes a long time to turn up. So we've ordered it. I say we, I don't, I'm not affiliated with this gym, um, but the owners ordered it uh, and uh, 18 months it will turn up. So <laughs> it's a long old wait, waiting list, right? What time, time for it to be made and get sent out, etc. So we've got this, but very, very similar. You can make it really hard in the lengthened and really easy in the shortened range. Smooth operator this is though, really smooth. So I'm just getting blood in my legs. You know, I'm, I'm flat, I'm, you know, I'm not full of, full of carbs at the minute or anything. 
So, you know, but I still train super hard. We'll still get some PBs today. <sighs> Fucking hell. Oh. Knees feel good. Knees feel good. All right, we're gonna get stuck into it in a second. <laughs> well, welcome guys. Um, now, I should have been checking my footage whilst I was filming, but the only clip that recorded the audio was that first clip that you just seen. Now, I've cut these videos down, but I don't really know what to say here because this audio that I spoke yesterday, I remember saying some things that were absolute like, you know, in the heat of the moment things. You just captured where I really was and where I am at six and a bit weeks out, especially towards my training. You know, uh, you can sort of see here, you know, it's just exactly as I always am. Enjoying it, loving it, you know, maybe a little bit more aggressive, but, <laughs> yeah, you know, you just... Sometimes, you you know, you just have that bit of, fuck you, I'm getting after it, you know. I want to I wanna make a statement this year and show people, you know, you get heavy in the off-season, you pack a fuckload of muscle on, and it fucking shows, you know. Uh, <laughs> and that was well and truly running through my veins yesterday, speaking about it. Um, but I guess now this is going to change into voiceover and talking about what we did and what I've done. You know, and obviously warmed up and then I get stuck into the meat and the potatoes of things. So, you know, not really a meaty exercise, it's more of an isolating exercise, but this standing the ham curl feels good. It's carried on what I'm doing from the off season, but my training split hasn't changed. A few movements have had to change because I've had a lower back issue, which I'll talk about later. You know, you'll you'll notice that the squat pattern's slightly different. But doing this exercise first as I was, because it feels better on my knees, you know, um, the back of the back of the knee, the, the left left leg, doing that seated hamstring curl, absolutely like would fry me to, to, to oblivion and not fry the hamstring. Like the hamstring felt good up to, at first, but it just get irritation, irritation. And then that affects me doing calves and that affects me doing slight. It starts affecting my squats. Like that's not a good exercise to be doing. As, as I, you know, like I do know that doing a standing hamstring curl and the line hamstring curl, they are very, very alike, you know. Doing the sta uh, seated would be, preferably would be better. You know, a lot of you forget that I've got a fucking degree in, in strength and conditioning and did biomechanics there. I know these things, <laughs> but I, I'm not fucking tearing my fucking <laughs> muscles off the bone just so people will be like, oh yeah, that's good, you know. But listen to my body. Um, so moving on onto the adductor, getting after it yet again. Uh, oh, this was a big fat rest pause set that we were doing. No, this was a, a drop set, but drop sets are out. Like you'll notice that all my intensifiers are gone. You know, I'm sub seven weeks now. Um, I'm still getting stronger in my training. You'll see that today with hitting numbers that I've never hit before. It is what it is. Cool, I'll take that. <laughs> Uh, especially on like, lower food, higher output, let's fucking go. Um, but I've taken away the intensifier. I'm not doing anything, taking me past failure now. You know, this is not needed. I'm not growing tissue. I'm just preserving muscle tissue. Everything I, I do now, training wise, will dictate me preserving tissue. Uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm stretching off because yesterday, I don't know why, like, you know, just woke up. Oh, my addict, my addict felt, felt tight. Today, it do not feel tight at all. It's sore, but it do not feel tight. It just felt tight. I was like, so I did lots of warming up prior to this set. I was like, probably four warm up sets, which usually I'd only do about two. So, like, four warm up sets in deep into this. Meanwhile, I've already done all that warm up work, all that pre activation work. Then, also, already done those hamstring curls, which I did three sets of those hamstring curls, of the lion hamstring curls. And I'm coming here and I'm like, fucking hell. But no, it felt good. Wicked. Uh, this is just one set of adductors. Um, I only do four sets of hams and four sets of quads. So my volume is low. And that was, I was a little, the hamstring volume was a tad higher in the off season. Uh, it was only five sets, but I brought that down. I brought it down to four. So yeah, low volume because the sets are effective. That's what will hold my muscle tissue. And that's why I'm still getting stronger in performance. If I'm getting stronger, I'm holding tissue. <laughs> if I'm... Uh, Dramatically getting weaker, then nah, prep's kicking my ass, and uh, you know what? It does happen. Might, will I be losing tissue? 
I probably would argue that I wouldn't be because of the amount of drugs that I'm on at the minute. <laughs> but as long as I would be putting in that effort and staying connected with the muscle, you know, I think that would be really important. But there is, to a degree, holding performance in in in, in a cut really will dictate for you um, holding muscle. Um, but yet again, you know, a lot of people you listen to that and you you will do you'll be in your infancy of bodybuilding, maybe in your first prep and your strength will dip at like nine weeks out and you're like, oh, I'm losing all my tissue. And now nah, you're probably, you know, if you're doing, uh, if you're on anabolics, you, nah, you ain't, ain't going to be losing much, mate. <laughs> if anything, you probably just had a lot more fat than you thought. You'd, a lot, you're carrying fat in a lot better, but it, it, um, sorry, you're carrying fat quite nicely, which made you perceive that you had more muscle than you did. And then obviously weight does move weight. So, you know, it does happen. <laughs> so obviously, you know, you've lost a little bit of strength, but I wouldn't get too caught up. Um, I know I, I, I'll bring it up and I want to do more of these videos. I want one where I can actually fucking have the pissing, uh, you know, might work throughout the whole thing. Uh, if you wonder what I'm doing here, I'm talking about being like body fat, being uh, like thin, skin thin. And I'm saying like you, you know, you know when you're in shape, when the skin on the back of your hand, that kind of skin, that's where all over your body. So like I'm showing you here, like at the top, could you see it was a lot thicker? Some of you be like, what are you talking on about? But it's a lot thicker at the top. I'm still holding this fat, fat, etc. that is there. Uh, and then obviously lower abdomen right down, you know, getting towards the old groin area. Obviously it's pretty much the same as the back of my hand. And uh, you're not shredded until, you know, that back of your hand skin is that's how, you know, the back of your arse is. Don't know what I was doing there. This is why I wish the audio works because it would have been remarkable. But I am using, um, well, a box, a makeshift box between my legs to prevent my driving my hips up. So it makes me squeeze my legs together and it just keeps it on the hamstring. This exercise has caused me knee jip before. So doing this, I don't get the knee jip and you'll see that I'm not humping the machine. I do have a little bit of hip movement here, here as you can just see a little bit, but I'm just nowhere near as bad. It's, it's, not, it's not pulling the weight. Uh, this is just a one, obviously I've only done three sets, so this is just a one uh, a one set go, uh, high rep set, you know, 15 to 20 reps, let's fucking go, and uh, yeah, keep the tension, keep it continuous, and let's get fucking strong at it, so yeah, I added a bit more weight this time on it, I was like, fucking let's go, I was like, let's fucking have it, so happy days, and that's also with the addition of having that box in there, I say box, it's like rubber, that's all, it's probably part of what the uh, girls use to protect their you know, midsection when they're doing the old glute thrusts or glute drives or the glute drive machine, whatever you want to bloody call it. But it gets stuck between my legs now. Can you see my hamstrings there on that as well? Look pretty meaty. So I spoke about this machine earlier on. This is the leg extension by uh, Jim AG, which is a bit of a concept that they've taken away from Prime. As I said, there's a Prime one turning up, so you're going to have all three, which is awesome. So I've got a lot of weight loaded at the top. Now loading it at the top it will make it very heavy at the bottom when my quads are fully lengthened, right? They're fully stretched right now. So it'll be very, very heavy. And then suddenly it will just sort of drop off and be a lot easier at the top in that shortened range. So I'm trying to just keep strong at that where I'm going to be my, well, basically where I'm the strongest, I'm going to put the most amount of weight to make it the hardest it can be. And then at the top where I'm weakest, I'm going to seek a bit less weight there. So that's why I've got it distributed like this. And these sets just fucking getting after it. So leg extensions first. Now another reason for the leg extensions first rather than my you know, my, uh, my squats, which would be ideal, you know, ideally, you know, if I could do it the way that I would want, like to do it, I would do, you know, hamst calves, hamstrings, and I like to heavy, heavy sort of quad work. Um, quad work, yeah, heavy, uh, heavy quad work, like squat compound work. But my knees just won't take that, man. Like, I'm getting old, man, these very, very quickly, <laughs> you know, and uh, I think I said it at the start, you know, you've been training quite a bit of time, you've been training hard for quite a bit of time, you know, it takes it, it takes it out of you a little bit on the old joints, so you just got to be smart with your approach, and sometimes what would be the best way of doing things is not going to be the best way of doing things for you, so you need to make sure you work around that, because I want to be, uh, you know, if I turn pro this year, I want a good 10, 12 years being a professional, if I can run till 40, and keep placing well and make a legacy in bodybuilding well that's what my goal and i'm super fucking happy that's uh that's that part of my life i, I achieve what i wanted to achieve right second set what you'll notice is that i've actually taken a plate off and stuck it onto the top because i'm strong i'm my strongest at the bottom so i'm making that harder but making it easier at the top so you'll notice that it just 
As soon as I get out of sort of like the mid place, it's like boom, it flies up, <laughs> which is wicked. Also, have you noticed the arm? Look at that. Look at the arm gains right there. Hmm? <laughs> yes, look at that. My veins popping. Love that. Love it. Love it. Uh, so yeah, two sets on here. Absolutely mashed. Quads are pumped. Quads are feeling good. And then we get stuck into that heavy panata squat. So I was doing that hack squat for a little while. Um, was running that. And I was like, sweet, I'll run this prep. But then I started getting lower back issues. Um, causing some issues, which I think is down to some tight hips. But seems to be pretty good right now. And Using this machine felt a lot better. I can be a lot more quad bias on this. On this, well, so that being said, I can be on on the hack squat, so that's a lie. But you'll notice, you know, deep squats, getting after it, get those hamstrings touching those calves. Um, but this feels great and pushing it. You know, last time I used this in the off season, I had five plates on. So I've worked my way from uh, three and a half to four plates, all the way to uh, four and a half, and I'm like. Okay, well, last time I think I got like seven, and this time you'll see that I absolutely blast past seven reps. And I'm like, okay, um, okay, uh, well, I probably could put more weight on, so we're going to get to like peak off season numbers. <laughs> Tremblone fucking works, guys, <laughs> and that shit's toxic. And uh, you'll see how fucked I am. Look at this after this set, like these exercises, like effective volume, like be effective in these sets, push it hard, but you'll, um, You'll see like, you know, look at me pissing with sweat, heart's pounding, heart rate's going. Doesn't help that I did two scoops of uh, a stimulant pre-workout, which was schoolboy error on my hand. Um, and also, you know, if you're running ATMCG or Clem, your heart rate's already going to be elevated. So as soon as you start pushing it, that heart rate's like, bam, 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 bam. But that's how you get in shape, right? You're burning lots of calories there. You're telling your fucking body that, look, these quadriceps need to stay to keep on moving this weight. So... Guess what it does? It's like, oh, fucking hell, I need this muscle. I'm going to stick around. I'm just going to burn the fat around it. Lovely. Well, not exactly burn the fat around the muscle, but burn the fat that's on you to use that as a reserve fuel. So good. That's how we get in shape, you know, stick around. Um, well, get the muscle to stick around. And mm, it's pretty darn basic. Just go into your sessions, just fucking ready to get after it. I like this uh, picture right here. I might have to make this the thumbnail because my shoulders look rather swole right there. That trap. You see that trap work? Fantastic. I'll do another set here in a bit. I don't know how long I've left this, so I'm just going to have to chat shit and entertain you all. Um, and I'm deeply apologize, you know, uh, uh, deep apologies or deeply apology apologize that, uh, that just didn't work. You know, I was, I was buzzing about this video because of the fucking PBs, some of the shit that I spoke about. I don't know what I was saying. I think I'm talking about, uh, I said something about iron community and like people helping each other, you know, and like, that's what I, you know I, at the end of the day you know want to achieve big things in bodybuilding but i love that uh, the, the iron community and that will always forever be in me you know asking people for spots i can ask anyone you know you'll notice that the next thing next i always ask anyone for a spot like literally if you're close and i feel like you're okay capable of helping me i'll ask you and you'll see this with the uh gym manager gym manager abby <laughs> i'm like uh can you help me with a spot she's like me and I'm like, yeah. And she's like, all right. <laughs> so I was like, fuck it, let's go. So this is the last exercise of the day. So I've done all my like work. This is brutal. This is so four plates, just fucking repping this shit for as many as we can, you know, and trying to beat the rep ranges. Still going with that mentality of getting stronger. Um, and this is, you know, you're fried. Like your you, you, your hamstrings are fucked. Your fucking Quads are absolutely blowing. Three sets in, they're mashed, and you just like you just got to keep going. I've given them a little stretch off. Just keep smashing it. Knees feel good though, which is nice. And hips and lower back feels absolutely fantastic. So got to keep going. I should have gone from the side angle here, and then you would have seen my depth. But if you can see that from the front, just look at this, just mashing it, just squeezing out. Look, you know you don't stop. That was a struggle with that rep. But you don't stop. I'll get another one. No problem. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Abby saved me. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, yeah, again, fucking heart rate's absolutely through the roof. I'm battered out my arse, and uh, that sounds a bit weird. Battered out my arse. Fucking hell. Don't know why I can't believe these things. Battered out my arse. But yeah, I was. I was absolutely smashed. Look at me. Look, I'm sweating. I'm battered. My heart's pounding. I'm like, bloody hell. Not right. I shouldn't have taken all that pre workout. I say that. Last time I trained legs, I said the same thing. You know what I went and fucking did? I went and took two scoops. Took two scoops. And like, do you know what's funny? It happened to be last prep. 
I get giddy with like pre-workouts. You know when you first ever start out, Abby's feeling my heart because she's like, Jesus Christ, it's pounding. I was like, yeah, fucking beast. Um, but you know when you get like giddy with pre-workouts when you first ever started? It happens to me. It's like, I'm buzzing to train because I want to train, but then I'm like buzzing to take this pre-workout. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's me. I've got some pump. I've got some other pump, and I've got another steam. Oh, I want to try a bit of pump. I want to try a bit of steam. Oh, lovely, lovely. Let's go. Oh, about this, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Josh? You've been doing this fucking like a decade, and you're still getting giddy about buying pre-workout like you're fucking like you're fucking nineteen, you know. What, like, 20 years old, like, <laughs> like, you barely afford pre-workout, you buy that, you know, I don't know, it, it, it was, uh, my first pre-workout that I can remember buying myself was C4, um, Celery Cure C4, like, fruit punch flavour, I took that shit, thought I was taking fucking coke, I was like, Rah! Man, I thought someone gave me fucking amphetamines, mate. I was charging down the gym. I was sweating. I was pumping. I was going for it. You know, back in the day, it was just like grit. That's all you did. You went in there. You just picked an exercise. And you just fucking went in there until, you, until the wheels fall off, you know? Um, not much thought process. Anyway, I want to know what your uh, first ever pre-workout was if you got this far. And this is a rig update as well. So um, I was 2.36 yesterday. Uh, we're digging pretty hard, like... Uh, we pulled a little bit of food, upped cardio um, since the last time I spoke to you guys. Um, so like today I'm doing 90 minutes cardio on a rest day. I'm only doing 60 grams of carbs today. Um, so six weeks and this was six weeks and five days out. Six weeks, four days out today when I'm, when I'm recording what I'm, what I'm speaking to now. Um, but you'll see, you know, I'm, I'm coming in pretty darn fast. And, you know, my body does need to be bullied. It doesn't need to be pushed. I do have to go pretty extreme with things to be able to get in gnarly condition. You know, I'm not this person who's on 350 grams of carbs and just getting leaner and leaner and leaner. And that's not me, you know, minimal cardio. I'm on high cardio, I'm on low food. Um, you know, it is what it is. Just suck it up, get on with it. You know, stop being a fucking pussy. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, so crank it out. And uh, yeah, you know, flat here or flatter. Uh, but DH is making me look, give me a bit of pop and pop and bang that's for sure <laughs> um you know obviously still soft and uh still got like body fats to, to go to go but you can see like dramatically harder especially in the midsection i can see a few lines in the legs even though i'm absolutely blasted a little bit of glute a little fluttering happening uh, hamstring drops good though you know those extra extra set pushing in and uh you know good quality sets in the off season has paid off big time you can see a bit of work there uh, a bit better, better core control. So I am practicing my posing, and uh, I do have a posing coach actually helping me. She makes me hold poses for like thirty seconds, guys. You try that, you, you fucking die every single pose. But if I can hold it for thirty seconds to a minute, no problem. Then when they get me on stage and they try to put me through the rounds, well, you know what? I'm going to be standing there like a fucking statue. But here's me posing, going in hard. And uh, do you know what? I'll just actually I've got no, I've got no audio to this at all. So I'm just going to sit here and waffle and finish it off. But if you haven't, please subscribe. I appreciate it. And uh, just keep following along. You know, these videos are very basic, but it's me raw and showing you exactly what it's like, well, to push yourself to the limit and bodybuild. <laughs> anyway, guys, like, subscribe, and then uh, we'll catch you on the next one.